this self. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. You won't. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. Not bad. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog! I'm taking it up with you! Any idea who I am? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what? Oh, fuck you myself! We hope you enjoy your stay. Not bad. I can't get in? What's that mean? I'm here every motherfucking week! You're not authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes I am! No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can say, what now? Please stay off, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. No shortage of wise asses. I'll see. You're going back upstairs? In a minute. Piss first. <sighs>
What will you have? Anything. Whatever stands to fuck me up the quickest. Hard day? More like hard life. You really think they remember nothing? They're not supposed to remember. Not a smidge. Got some new hardware. <laughs> a washing machine has a motor! Uh. Looks familiar. Hey, What's that? Can... Evelyn's jacket. Crumpled like a tissue. You must have been here a while. No clients allowed in here. Be a chum and close the door on your way out, would you? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. You look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho prick who's never been ghosted by his bow or bill before. But go on. I'm listening.
You've got info, I've got eddies. It's a fair trade. What's your price? You need to pull your head out of your ass. Eddies will buy you a horse here, not snitches. I look like either of those to you. Told you what you look like. Don't tell me you weren't listening. Surely a reasonable man like yourself wouldn't mistake a donation for a bribe. Real pleasure chatting. But just where exactly do you see this going? Clouds is under Tiger Claw control, isn't it? That's none of your fucking biz. Guessing you heard about Jotaro Shobo? Uh, Shobo had an accident. What Shobo had was a very unfortunate meeting with me. Just happened to be his last. You wouldn't want this to be your last meeting, would you? Of course not. Never wanted to be anything like Shobo. Girl you're looking for, Parker? She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their jobs to generate profit. Evelyn stopped pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. Her chip was busted up pretty damn good. By who? A client? No, outside job. Some kind of crack shot net runner. Punched through our ice like it was cheap wallpaper. Girl was a vegetable. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. They common? These kind of accidents? Ever use tech that never broke? Didn't think so. Behavioral chip splits you right down the middle. Some people plain lose their minds. And for everyone that does, there's a dozen in line to replace them. Is this you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, he said he knew something or other. You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn. Please. <laughs> you got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know. Considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes. Even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> you took her to the Ripper instead of following orders. <laughs> Didn't take you for someone with balls. For fuck's sake, I'm not running a slaughterhouse here. Only recycle as a last resort. And family always gets a call. If there is any. Think there are any daddies out there willing to change the diapers of a brain-dead little slut on the verge of cyberpsychosis? Probably not. Casting him out on the street ain't an option either. Can't risk tanking our crib. Well, anything's better than a bullet to the brain. <laughs> You know, that's what every doll says. I'm starting to like you. You looking for work by any chance? The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. Quicker you're out of here, the better. Dark fingers on Chig Chig Street. 
Sounds like a co-ed wet dream. Evelyn's still with his fingers, creep. Do I look like his secretary? How'd she look to you, last time you saw her? You weren't listening. Told you already. Now get out! Got a Delta. Later. I'm required to return your weapons.
a hold up. Nice work back there. Ever thought of applying for the diplomatic corps? That's it with them. Don't have time to massage egos. I respect that. <laughs> of course you do. You'd have loved to have dropped the H-bomb on this place. No need to go so OTT. I've got other methods. One thing's for sure, though. Claus won't forget this. You think Fingers got her? I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Condition to find help. Oh, fuck! What the hell's that? No, no, damn it! Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See me and Arasaka. We got a half-century-old score needs settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. <laughs> but why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen. I know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Come on, come on. You got more to say, so just say it. Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. <sighs> Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, Bomb's named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. What's important? I may have 
found a solution to the problem we yeah. I have established a contact with an old friend from us. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to suit influential people. That's gonna help us how exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Kopiki Plaza. I have little hope that he will be convinced. But it will be a start. Fine. Where's the meet and when? Japan Town. After sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Loud and clear, you don't need to yell. What's up? Doing a little competition. Shoot, prizes and all. You know, over here with the range. <laughs> yeah, that it makes sense. Well, you in? Sure, I'm in. When? Well, uh, right now. We'll wait on you. See ya. Years of noise. Hmm. You can see it. 
Sorry, sorry. Is this more up your alley than clouds? Hey, at least here you know what you're getting. Once I tie you down and get to work, your eyes will roll back now to You, oh, you asshole. We'll talk. Here, kitty, kitty, what's the rush? Hey, honey. He chipped you for free? Fuck off! Yeah? Gear looks a little basic, but it works. So he didn't ask for any money? Nada? Not even a song? Considering the jeans, like I said, for yourself or anyone, get in touch with administration at North Oaks, Ohio. Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Looking for a ripper doc. Goes by fingers. Know where I can find him? Who's asking? And why? Got a problem with an implant. Not from around here. Couldn't find another ripper in the city to patch you up? Heard fingers was the best. Yeah. The best for joy girls. Are you a whore? No, but you are, from the look of things. Yo, you hear what this motherfucker said to me? Best watch your tongue. I'd say it again, but what for? Your little skull sponge can't possibly get its gray cells around it. Must apologize for that, asshole! You gotta be worth a damn to get an apology from me. And you're trash. Not worth shit. Nobody talks that way to little loco. Told me you weren't a door person. Get out of my clinic right now, via the door. What a Got a couple of questions. Time. Quick, you answer. Quick, we'll leave you to get back to your patients. Logical through and through. Impossible to argue with. You see, my patient here is likely to feel. Ever so slightly awkward if I leave half her face off. Upper eyelid retractor on that faceplate's busted. She won't be able to close her eye completely. You think I don't know that? Sadly, this is the second-hand schlock I'm forced to make do with. Third-hand and fourth-hand, too, by the look of things. Consider the alternative. No eyelid at all, no faceplate to speak of. Fine, I'll wait. I need you to be a big girl now. This could hurt. Just one more second. There. How's it feel? <laughs> fine, I guess. Looks fine, too. And it never hurts to smile, sweetheart. You tiger claws. Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mock. The mocks? 
Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? These girls know you're chipping faulty implants? You might say so. I'd say they're the very best I can find. See? What's in it for you? Whatever they have to offer. And they always have something to offer. <laughs> You're a sick fuck. Know that? What do you two want? I used to ride with nomads. Resourceful folk. Wouldn't cast anything aside until it was worn down, dead, couldn't be fixed or reused in some other way. But what you're giving these girls, not even nomads would touch that. Oh, please, let's not exaggerate. I give them what I can. What do you two want? Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please set your exquisite well, derrieres down. Forest. Name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? Wasn't too happy about the way Woodman treated his employees. So I zeroed him. Not too fond of you either right about now. So careful what you say. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I, I don't know. I, I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gonk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gonk? What do you think? Why'd all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. The two that came for her. Didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. Judy's right. People like you make this city a living hell. Day in, day out. Got what you wanted, didn't you? 
So get the fuck out of here. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together. You wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Dead said symbol bring anything to mind? Anything. Doesn't matter how small. This industry... I mean, market's looking for every kind of fetish out there. It's cavernous. But an XBD outfit'd be on the move, almost always. Makes them harder to nab, harder to sting. What's up with you? V, get it together. What's up with you? Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. Darknet domain. That's our best bet. Let's stick to the plan. Fine. Here's hoping you turn up something useful. I'll wait in the van.
been just a bit more careful? Mm. Looking for something what raw, was. untouched. And I gotta work out Raw's all you get with me. What's your edge? I want something that'll floor me. Really if scramble the wanted neurons. To see a jelly roll, well, you got it all, man. Bare knuckle mirror. boxing, shootout, yeah, black sure. ops interrogations, Don't amputations. No, 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 no. I mean, for a week. something like... You'll have plenty. You know, and if you know, I don't work, we're both going fetishes. hungry. Fetishes. No, come on. You know what I mean? No, I don't. Think I'd be doing this job if I could read minds? I want to know what it's like to, to kill somebody. See? Wasn't so hard. So... Got some classics from the last Corp War, or armed robbery if you're looking for something fresher. What are you looking for? Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? Cops are like kids. Mommy and Daddy wouldn't let him go off in their lonesome. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. I'm no connoisseur, trust me. <sighs> sure. All he needs to know is who makes them and where. Now listen, I just sell whatever sells. Nice, calm job. Let me see some eddies, you can pick one. Parse it, and I won't care a hair. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch some. 